my get. All right. Hey, hey. So, um, I love Get Ready With Me videos. I watch them. They are my version of Netflix and chill. <laughs> It's get ready with me videos and not chill, just be hype and excited. Um, so I figured I would do one while I talk about two particular things that are exciting to me right now. Um, oh okay, so the first thing, should I be looking over here or over here? Mm. Um, the first thing is that I'm super, super excited to not be organized. Let me get my spray bottle. Right. So the first thing is that we launched season six yesterday. Eh, eh, and um, <laughs> I want to make sure that you saw that there's an option to leave a voice message or to send an email about the episode. That's vital because we started this new format, right? Where in case you ain't heard or seen, where we're slowing it all the way down and the feedback has been so good. Everybody happy about that, <laughs> including me, to slow it down so that each topic gets three full episodes. The intro to the topic or the person, then the second episode, which is what's coming out next week, is feedback from listeners about that episode. Feedback, questions, all of that. And then the following week, actually a few days after the following week, we will share snippets or the full um, playback of a field trip. A thing where we got together real time, at least two of us, to talk about whatever arose from, whatever arose from that episode. So I want to make sure that you see that little um, how to leave a voice memo thing that we put on Instagram so that you can just press the button, leave the voicemail button and leave that message. <laughs> and um, you can also email she at raisingfreepeople.com and I'll read it because everybody can't talk and everybody don't want to talk, right? So really, really looking forward to feedback about that. Please make sure you do that because that also, what that does primarily is to me, it helps us to live the conversation, right? There is, because the conversations are recorded <laughs> and then we're also going to do some live ones but we wanna live with the conversation. We wanna talk about what we're talking about um, and not just listen to what we're talking about. So those are super important to, as a way of including other people's feedback you know, about what's happening. So it's really one of the ways that I'm trying to make the podcast more communal because I think podcasting can be really isolating and it also has this tendency I'm experiencing where people are, are like um, looking to me for answers to things. And it's like, I ain't got no motherfucking answers. <laughs> I got mad exploration. I got mad questions. And I got, um, you know, like mad love and commitment for what we're talking about. But what I don't usually have are answers. Um, and also when we get together, we can source better questions and sometimes source answers. So one of the ways we can get together, <laughs> if you can't make a live thing and if you're not on the podcast, is that you can leave me a voice memo or send me an email about a specific episode so that um, other members of our listening community can you know, get in the mix. Speaking of listening community, I'm also really hoping that we can finalize the type of funding uh, that I need at the moment to make sure that we can do transcripts for every episode because we have had a few hearing impaired people ask about that 
and we've responded to those folks, but just want to let y'all know too. So shout out to everybody in our Make It Happen family because um, you're making sure a lot of this that is happening can happen, including this slowdown. And then we need another little push for uh, transcripts for every episode, right? So we can fund that happening. Yes, yes. That's the first thing. Okay. I see now that my hair is going to take some time to do nice things. <laughs> um, but the other thing in the meantime is that there's a challenge. We got a de-schooling parenting challenge coming up in April. Is it the week of April 15th? I don't know, but I'm going to share more about that soon. It is in collaboration with another liberation-minded, raising free people-focused mama. Um, I'll share more details about that soon, but I'm excited about it because it is very much going to be an opportunity for us, again, to live these conversations. This one is, um, well, I'm going to tell you what it's called. <laughs> I will tell you what it's called. It's called a Fix Your Face Challenge. <laughs> It makes me happy just to talk about that. And it makes me happy and it also gives me nervous laughter. Like the like, eh, like been there. I know what that's like, both as the person being told that and the person who told somebody that. So um, we're going to talk about that in detail. We're going to break that down over the course of a period of days. And then, of course, um, as challenges tend to do, we're going to offer an opportunity to do a little bit more work based on what arose when you did that challenge okay so those are the two things that i was super excited to share and uh, i think that's pretty much it i guess since i'm not finished i should talk about more things um and then the rest is just me getting ready and i'm gonna speed it up a little bit probably okay Pause. Who knows how to use um, liquid liner? I have a liquid liner pencil, but every time I try to use it, it tries to poke me in the eye, and then I get scared, and then I don't use it anymore. But I love how that looks, you know what I'm saying? Who want to teach me how to use <laughs> liquid liner? Um, yeah, yeah. So that is pretty much it. I'm just getting ready for a couple of Zoom calls. Y'all know Zoom life is the thing at the moment. Um, all right. Just how y'all put on y'all foundation too, with your fingers. So if you're just trying to even shit out like basic evening out. So, most days, if I do nothing else, I put on some mascara, and I do this right here, put gold shit on my face, And it takes me some time to adjust to what my hair is doing. That's it. 